everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be talking about how to create expandable list view uh, like this it is the title and it is the description if you want to show anything related with this title we can show in the same page earlier what uh, or generally what we used to do uh, just on tapping this row uh, we just navigate to next page for showing the content related with this uh, title so in this video i will tell you how can you show text or any kind of image or anything inside uh, this row like this whenever i'm tapping on this it is expanding and showing the content related with this title for now there is only two elements inside this list and later i will add some extra number of list inside uh, this so that uh, you can also see the scrolling features available inside here so without any delay let's get started so for this i have actually made this dynamic so you can use my code uh, in your project and i will put my code on github and will share the link with you and also share the link uh, in the description box so first of all this is my array uh, in your case uh, suppose uh, your array will come from the api for now i am not using any kind of api that is why i am using this array so this array is expandable item type so where it is this is actually model that i have created here another class for this and what is it providing it is uh, providing title content and is expanded value it is actually a boolean type of value due to which it is expanding and collapsing so uh, this is the array so let's move inside the ui part now this is actually a stateful widget inside this by default it is scaffold and then app bar for app bar i will also tell you little bit of uh, thing here because i have used title and this icon also here that is why i, will, I would like to tell you something uh, for this app bar uh, inside this title i have used row and it is main access alignment center and inside this row i have used text which is expandable text text and icon which is list type and in between them there is space size box so that's all about uh, app bar now let's move and this is the background color and now let's move forward towards the list so for this i have used here list view builder and inside this item count I'm using this expandable items dot length what is expandable items it is my array this array which contains two elements for now so this is expandable element uh, expandable items dot length this is the count of my list for now and then item builder by default context and index so what I am doing here expandable items in index inside this item because we don't uh, due, due to which uh, we don't have to write this again and again that is why i have created a variable item and every time uh, we we want the index particular index of the array then we will use this item and then in uh, it, it will what it will return it will return ink well so ink well this is ink well widget and highlight color is transparent splash curl color is transparent uh, i will show you what is splash color will do like if i will add black here and let me save this now when i will tap on this you can see black splash at the background so for now i don't think that it is looking good so i am reverting the code now and then on tap there is a set state and what it, it is uh, happening inside state set state it is item dot x is expanded equal to reverting item dot is expanded 
what is this it is actually value coming from this class initially it is true that is why it is shrinked now when i am tapping on this it is reverting the value that is why it is expanding so i will also tell you about uh, the conditions that i applied so let's move forward for now and inside this inkwell i have taken animated container as a child of this inkwell so after that uh, there is a margin margin of 20 and 0 if item dot expanded is true then margin will be 20 otherwise it will be 0 so what is happening here when i'm tapping here then margin is 0 it is false now then when i'm tapping here it is uh, by default it is true that is why there is a margin of 20 from left and right when i'm tapping here it it means that the value of is expanded is false then there is padding of 0 so this kind of thing happening from here vertical space is 10 you can manage space between two elements of list from here if i will do here 20 then you will see the gap has increased okay. and then let's move forward towards padding padding is basically for the text available inside here and then this curve it is actually for providing animation i will tell you i will show you basically dot bounce in i'm using let me save this and when i will tap on this look at the animation it has changed now so you can handle several animations from here for now i'm reverting it and this is the duration you can increase or decrease the animation duration from here and inside this there is a decoration box so box shadow and color of the palette is handling from here you can change uh, the color and the opacity uh, shadow color from here as per your use so let's move forward and again i'm maintaining color from here if item dot expanded is true then it is showing like uh, purple color and if it is false means when i have tapped on this particular area then the color is a little bit of reddish and then border you can also manage border from here uh, for now uh, radius border is when it is expanded uh, expanded is true it means there is a 20 of radius when there is uh, expanded value is false then there is zero that is why when i'm uh, for now when i haven't tapped on this particular area then the border radius is 20 whenever i'm tapping on this the border radius is zero that is why there is corners there is no border radius available so you can handle here i will show you like let me do this 20 also when i will save this there is the border so you can handle these kind of things from here so for now i will revert this and then inside this there is a column and inside column there is row we all know that the, the, the children is a property of column which takes several widgets inside it so this is the row so this title and this icon is handled managed by this row so this is my and i have used here space between that is why the title is here and the icon is here and there is a lit, uh, space between uh, is provided with this line so again title item dot title i'm taking this title from the array that i have shown you earlier from here this is the title 
and I have created item here that is why I'm not using expandable items index dot item I'm directly using item so item dot title and you can also manage the text uh, style like uh, color and font size you can also apply condition here uh, like like is sorry item dot is expanded sorry not here inside this item dot is expanded if it is true then it is white otherwise i will make it colors dot sorry otherwise uh, yes there will be a question mark otherwise colors dot black then let's see what happens now it is white when the value will be changed when i will tap on this the color of the title will change to black there it is so you can handle these kind of colors also from here let me revert this and again for the icon you can also handle for now i am handling the arrow down and arrow up for now on the value of is is expanded that is why when i am tapping on this the arrow moves upward and when I'm tapping in it is moved downwards this uh, animation happening from here and then there is this animated crossfade this is this also comes inside inside this column for now uh, it has a uh, required property first child and second child that is why you will have to use here for now i'm not using any value uh, as a first child uh, let me show you what will happen if i will put some extra text here for now i am typing something some dummy text and font size give let me give 15 then there it will act as a subtitle for now i don't have any kind of subtitle if you want to add any kind of subtitle uh, you can add from here when i will press this that particular subtitle will gone so i'm not going to use here for now let me remove this and then second child this is the second child second child is basically for the content when i'm tapping on this this is the content and it comes in under this second child you can also manage the color of the content that i have shown you for the title uh, with the help of value item dot is expanded let me move forward so initially when i will run the application once again initially my list is collapsed and if i want initially my list to be shown up uh, to be uh, to be the content for showing purpose uh, I, I want first time when I will run uh, my application then I want my content uh, to be enlarged then what I will do I will just revert this or I will just uh, revert the condition there and also we will handle the duration from here and again the reverse duration is zero and size curves you can also handle the animation from here let me it bounce out let me run this the animation has changed so you can handle animation from here now what i am doing i am adding some extra 
elements inside this array let's see what happens i have added 15 elements inside this array i will put the code on github and will share the link with you you can use my code inside your code so let me run this no we will i will have to run this code from beginning so the list has arrived 15 and there is a overflow issue so i will also tell you how to handle this kind of overflow issue issue basically so where it is the title yes here it is this is my title so how can we handle text overflow when uh, you have used uh, row when you have uh, used text inside row how can you handle text overflow so for this first of all i will have to use expanded okay then the error has gone and the extra letters available in the title is move below move down so suppose if you want uh, this title to be in one line then you will have to do one thing for this you will have to max line one let me save this now the text uh, extra text which was coming below uh, has gone and uh, suppose you must have seen several uh, dot dot or uh, kind of things uh, suppose if your title has increases from uh, the screen size then what you will do you can also handle it from like overflow text overflow dot ellipsis let's see now here as you can see that the title has increased from the length of uh, the uh, tiles so it has become dot dot now you can also handle it here like clip so it will clip the letter so you can play with it so that is it and one more thing i just want to show you uh, inside this content uh, when i am tapping here this is the content and if you want to show any image inside this content you can also do that so inside this second text what i'm just going to do i'm just commenting this and i'll be using image dot assets your image maybe your image uh, will come from the api you, you can use network image image dot network like this network my image is coming from the assets that is why i am using asset here like assets landscape okay and fit box fit fill and i will provide height of 300 okay let me run this whenever i will tap okay i will have to run this app okay landscape dot jpg i think landscape.jpg yes let me save this yes the image has arrived here for now uh, this is actually a static image your image will come inside the particular array then what you will do you will uh, type here item dot image url then your e image uh, 
which is which will come from the server will be shown here you can also handle the ui part here like it is not looking good for now so what i will do i will allow some padding here and also let me show you padding is applied and i just want to show uh, i i just want to apply corner radius so what i will do i will wrap this then clip r r rect then border radius border radius dot circular radius dot radius dot circular and then suppose i want to give border radius of 20 no 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 not circular dot zero no no oh, my mistake border radius dot all yes radius dot circular and i just want to give border radius of 20 the border radius has applied i want some extra padding I can apply it from here again when you will tap on this this is the beautiful image and you can scroll it so i hope you will like this video and that's it for now and hope to see you next time in our next video bye for now